first uh, Hunger Games was just a fantastic movie. You must have been absolutely thrilled when you got the call to, uh, to jump on board this franchise. I was. I was really thrilled. Yeah, I thought the movie was fantastic. I think the books are great. Um, what's really cool to me is that, you know, Suzanne Collins had just written something, I think, pretty important um, that has somehow sort of touched the world in a way and gotten so many people um, to come on board and be fans and be enthusiastic and have this appetite to see these movies and read the books um, with just like a really great, you know, message and theme to it. I mean, you must. I mean, was it quite difficult for you to uh, to kind of, I don't know, to to stay faithful to the to the stone and uh, to the to the sorry, to the tone and the style of the, the first film, and yet kind of implement your own directorial kind of authority and your own stamp your own mark on proceedings. Yeah, you know, I I have to say I didn't find it that difficult. I mean, you know, the thing when I first got the call and I started to think about whether or not I wanted to do it, and I loved the material again. It was really just about I wanted to make sure I had the the freedom to be creative and you know I was inheriting a cast but the cast is fantastic you know there were some aesthetic choices because it's franchise that have to carry through but I thought Gary did a great job with that stuff you know with the look of District 11 and the Capitol and all that but the truth is is that I'm a different person I'm a different filmmaker I'm gonna have my own sensibilities um, you know I'm not gonna be able to shoot like somebody else because I don't think like other people right um, and they don't think like me. So I just kind of laid it out for everybody and everybody seemed really enthusiastic and so we just kind of, you know, went on our way, which was a really nice thing. And how about in regards to the, to the book, how faithful were you, did you have to kind of, did you have to stay to that? Were you able to have a bit of creative license in that department? Well, there's, there's always, uh, you know, you always have to have a little creative license when adapting something, when you're sort of taking 400 pages and putting it down, to, you know, bringing it down to two hour, a two hour movie. Um, but we worked really closely with the author and, you know, we all love the books and love what she did and, you know, wanted to make as faithful an adaptation as possible. It must have been quite a daunting task though, because there's such a, an established, expectant audience already in place for this yeah. film, which you obviously, you don't often get in, in, in movies when you sort of sign on. Yeah, I actually find that comforting as opposed to <laughs> sort of nerve wracking. I think it's comforting to know that there's this great enthusiastic audience kind of waiting and chomping at the bit to see, see the movie, you know, I just want to you know, want to make the best movie I can for them, and I hope they hope they love it. And what must have made your, your task considerably uh, easier in some respect was that you've got the likes of Philip Seymour Hoffman, Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, it's an incredible cast, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, ama it's an amazing cast. There was an amazing cast that, you know, I inherited from the first movie, and then we just also got more people involved, and I think the, the caliber of talent is pretty incredible. And part of that is the source material, that people just respond to it and love the ideas in it, and part of it was also the cast that was already established, or just a great group of people, and so it just started to attract, you know, really unbelievable actors. And of course, you'll, you'll be back doing Mockingjay Part 1 and yeah. Part 2. How's that sort of one coming along so far? It's great. We've already started shooting. We've shot for f about five weeks already, and we shoot uh, after the release of the movie. We start up again and shoot through June. Right, so we'll probably be meeting you again quite soon then. Yeah, this time <laughs> next year. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. Cool. Thank you.